Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 21 of Let's Play Beyond Soul. So we're back at the base. They did take, hopefully that's an okay one, yeah, I think we're fine. They did end up taking one of our hangers, bastards. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, go ahead and fix that up, I guess. Um, maybe we make a couple more. The more we can have as a fleet, the more we can do damage over time anyway. So it's always a plus plus, right? I'm having problems getting this to lock on there. Why is that? Oh, that's a cool bug. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's bugs, so I can't get it to connect. That's where it normally is, and this one won't let me uh, do the connection. Ooh, that is not good, my friends. That is not good. We can make a new one, but uh, that is disappointing that that has to happen. I can't even get these to rotate, so these can't come out from here. This is actually going to cause a lot of problems. It collides with hangar. Oh, my goodness. That's it. There's nowhere for me to place my... This is a massive bug. This has to be looked into, I guess. We'll just have to go around and do it in weird areas. You can't even do it there because of... It's being like on a corner, for example. Not good, not good. Hopefully uh, these will get looked into later on. Truce, huh? Uh, I guess. So you keep losing. Yeah, we'll agree. Be streety. <laughs> that is disappointing, though, uh, about these little bugs on the hangers. I don't think there's much we can do right now, anyways. Okay, so um, we should upgrade these hangers if we can, but we probably need to upgrade the uh, houses, too. Got a lot of upgrading we should probably do. Uh, market iridium it wants, right? Iridium, tritium, it's all about the same. Iridium, tritium. Nice. I think it's all those upgraded, I guess, to those versions, anyways. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what about upgrading some of these guys? Uranium. So I got that one, and there was some up here. Oh, here they are. We'll upgrade those. And upgrade this. There you go. Did we fit any more on there, or was that it? I guess that might have been just it. Wouldn't mind getting my fleet up even bigger than ever, so that's kind of why I'm like, eh, you know, let's see what we can do. But we did learn we need to keep this area more protected, too. Uh, probably hit something uranium. Tritium now, probably. <laughs> there we go. So that would make our active fleet able to go up to 68, which is pretty, pretty good. Um, now, defensive, uh, I don't even know what to do. I would say more cannons is probably better, honestly. Uh, more targets, more their, uh, their guys are spread out, not shooting just one thing. Though they probably didn't even take any turrets, they probably just went for whatever I had. Um, it was a bit of a painful uh, setup there. Okay, so let's go back to build menu anyways and look at... Uh, you can put shield generators. I honestly don't know how well they are, but... You can pretty much put them anywhere now. Especially a lot of these places don't work. Not right in this minute anyways.
For these, one each. Oh, that's not bad. Not enough for uranium. Why didn't you say so? It's like, we've been telling you non-stop, but you just keep building. What? <laughs> Not enough titanium. Ah, uh, we're probably getting to the point where we shouldn't even be. Well, we should probably play some of these other ones, too. Wait, isn't that the ones I've been placing? I don't even know now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the guy attacking here now. Let's put it that way. Not enough credits. Okay, I think we're happy with everything. Let's let's upgrade some housing here because we need that. Um, housing, housing, housing. They're level threes, huh? So, uh, what does a level three housing take? Eighty of everything. Uh, well, not everything. Iridium and tritium. Oh, we probably don't even have enough credits now. Need six k more. Oh crap, I meant to sell, not cause more headaches. <laughs> there we go. So that brings more protection to our city at least. Uh, not so much back here, but mainly, you know, over here, which is good. Should help a bit. These are actually pretty underprotected, so we'll look into those later, but I'd rather them shoot that than say some of the more critical things, uh, like housing. Um, but yeah, I think we're back to the you know whole, we need to uh, arm up again, build up money. That's That seems to be the biggest part of this game. It gets to a point where it's like, you know, you, you need to build up again and let things run. And, which kind of sucks because sometimes you just want boom boom action, but other times you just got to realize that, you know, got to do what you got to do. Because we really need to correct our borders a bit more, I think. We really need to increase them more. We really need to get everything else up and going. So it's, it's going to be a long battle. I might not even be able to go any further because it might be just one of those staggering battles where it's just a long, painful time now that it's just like, do I really want to, you know, stay around for that long? I might, what I might do is just run the game as long as possible and just see what happens. Like, take the consequences of just trying to run it for a few hours in the background and hopefully not, you know, running into issues. That might be a good way to build up your resources. Or I could do a lot of events in between too. Do you mind your missiles don't have like faster tracking or something when they upgrades? dropped out. These poor clippers have like nothing, you know. I want to see how bad my shields are, like, the of the shields. Ah. I like that laser, that looks so cool. I 
try this on these guys later. I've never seen it up in curse. Oh, claw. There we go. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. And then one missile up his rear, and gone. Yeah, we're quite the war machine now ourselves. Eventually, yeah, we'll we'll get to the point where it's just becoming a stalemate or, you know, whatnot, and we might start over. I'll, I'll call it like a season two if that happens though. Um, but yeah. I mean, anything's possible. We'll see what happens. But if I randomly vanish one day, you probably know why. <laughs> I took a bit of a break. I think my favorite part of the game is not as much conquering, it is exploring and like. I guess it, is, it wouldn't be conquering, it'd be just building territory. I guess it's kind of fun to me. Look at that, we got uh, merchants feel safe. Well, I'm glad I made somebody feel safe today. These guys are attacking. Funny how people attack. It's just like almost like that's what they're programmed to do. I like how we're catching up finally. It's nice not having to be the guy like way behind. The credits they give is just shameful, though. I wish they kind of scaled up over time, but I guess they don't scale up at all. Into a message here for my game. There you go. Uh, get out of the map mode might help. <laughs> Was there two of them in one spot? the dust. It's good to see more positive stuff here. I hate the border tension, but attack their enemy. Attack their enemy. 
So the only reason they're happy with me is because I attack their enemy. Each enemy I killed, they should have given me more bonus rep, you know, like, even if it's like point one. Just like, yeah, you kicked their ass, here's another, you know, thank you rep. is becoming happier with me and yet every time I attack their enemy they attack me I don't get it just no winning in the w wars I guess There's a bounty all the way down there. Do you think we'll ever make it? Probably not. Won't hurt to try. Oh, we missed out. <laughs> that was sort of expected. Oh, and of course, the things over there. Boo. Let's see here. I wonder if you can increase, like, replace, like, what happens if they can take that? Would I lose it or could... Hmm, I wonder. I would suck if I lost that. wonder if I could replace it with something else if I wanted to. I was thinking like a military base there, right? I'll put one right there, but what happens, like, what should they like be cheap and they're like, oh no, sorry, if you do that, you lose it for good kind of thing? That'd make me cry. Man, these things need uh, some upgrading. Upgrading, but more f ships. I really hope this doesn't do what I'm worried about. We're fine. I don't know what would happen normally, but. We did upgrade to a military base, so we're fine. <laughs> kind of want to upgrade it again, but I don't think we have... Oh, we do have the materials. Okay. Nice. It's kind of important that we keep these areas a little more protected. I wouldn't even mind like some of these down here a bit more protected. It's probably fine, but still. You get a little worried over time anyways. 
which I guess is is reasonable, you know. This one will protect anything here. This one protects anything here. This one protects here. You protect there. Not that we've really had issues over here, though. <laughs> Might consider putting one here. And then have it a little more extended. Though this one won't go to that one. Maybe I'll put one here, extend that one. Oh, there's a thing right here. We should go to that. that beam laser as much as I thought I would. They were thinking of more guys down here for the coming wars. Well, like I said before, we pretty much make all our profit from wars these days, so as long as we keep our credit on a positive balance with our own fleet out plus these stocked up. I guess it's not a big harm. I mean, it's kind of nice having the extra, you know, 10k or whatever coming in, but uh, at the same time, you know, protecting ourselves a bit better is kind of needed. Nice turn there. Bye, gunboat. Three. It's like, hey, thanks for helping us. Here is three rep. <laughs> You've defeated one of our worst enemies. Here is zero rep. Okay, military station here, I guess. And then we decided we'll probably upgrade uh, this one here, I guess. This will cost us over time, but it'll be worth it, I guess. War is expensive, what can I say? I'm happy these don't get really attacked. That should be upgraded eventually. Actually, that should be a military base on its own, to be honest. I can go up there, that one gets upgraded, and then a military base there. There you go, now this one should reach all the way there, yeah. Nice. And this has a big reach too, so that kind of helps. Not bad, not bad. Guess we go to our base fix some of the housing up a wee bit because yep our housing's down again crash the market How are these guys going anyways? Oh man, he's 95% of the way. I guess we're never going to beat him. <laughs> 55%. Damn it. If only I was more, more mongrel, I could have beat him. Uh, okay, market. Let's uh, see. What, what's needed for housing again? 
I always forget these ones, of course. That's what I do, I forget. Um, Ridium Tritium. Okay, so upgrade. Of course, already out of power. These actually look kind of cool. No iridium, no iridium. Ooh, look at that. Metropolitan. Oh, because we got 100,000. Or 100,000. Why do I say words like that? A thousand. We are we're badass now. But our power is not so badass, so we need to do something about that. Probably the inner ones, to be honest. Um... Thorium. Doesn't actually take much to upgrade the thorium. Or not the thorium, but the power plants. That's fine. Might as well use what we can here. Not enough credits, not enough of this. Um, none of oh man, you noob! You did the wrong one, and back to not enough credits. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me! So little, so little. We could just go to ones and oh, never mind. Everything came in anyways. There you go. There we go. So I think we're good for now. And oh, that's cool. Kind of mirrored down as well. So it's like massive. That's cool. Look at that. This population of how many people live in there? <laughs> uh, but anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.